everyone, Harriet here, hope you're doing okay. So today is a brand new prediction video and it's all about the big one, Lethal Leap Year! No, I'm only joking, I wish it was. <laughs> if you haven't seen Southpaw Wrestling, do yourself a favour, watch it, it's absolutely fantastic. I keep re-watching it again and again and again, I'm never going to get bored of it. Best thing WWE's done in years. Anyway, you're all here for the main reason, Wrestlemania. So, the 33rd year now of Wrestlemania and it's the ultimate thrill ride this year and i've seen a few couple of spoiler pictures of what the ring's gonna look like looks cool will wrestlemania be any good i hope it's the ultimate thrill ride or it might end up being like the spinning teacup ride well hopefully not it's weird because i'm not really as excited for this wrestlemania as i have been in previous years though they have somewhat turned out to be not as good so maybe this might be a turnaround this might be one by the end they'll be like oh my god what the hell just happened this is amazing you know the best thing ever but like i said we'll wait and see i also have some questions at the end of this video from my friends on facebook so thanks guys for leaving questions for me and that'll be at the end of the predictions okay first because i will not remember any of these matches i have my tablet here okay so first of the three pre-matches we have alexa bliss versus becky lynch versus natalia versus mickey james versus carmella versus naomi and this is for the smackdown women's championship Oh dear me, where do we begin with this? I think Smackdown is literally in a flurry of let's just throw the women in the ring and let them do whatever they want. It's not like Raw unfortunately, they are literally chalk and cheese at this point, which is not good because Smackdown is the better brand and yet the women are getting the, the Raw deal. I, yeah, sorry about the pun, but it is true. It's pretty much a free for all for the championship. Um, I do believe Naomi's gonna win it because it's her hometown. I know she had her moment when she won it at uh, Elimination Chamber, but I think she's going to win it back from Becky Lynch. Um, hopefully, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I don't think Carmella, James Ellsworth will probably interrupt at some point. But yes, I think Naomi is going to win. It's just a shame that they've made this into a pre-match and, you know, left push it to a side like they did at Elimination Chamber. Next of the pre-matches, which I'm also surprised which is a pre-match, and it's Neville versus Austin Aries for the Cruiserweight Championship. Um, so Austin Aries is back, he made a bold statement, attacking, I forget which Cruiserweight it was now, uh, it was a while ago, but again, the Cruiserweights have been building up quite a bit, which is great. Uh, with uh, Neville in his heel role being fantastic and Austin Aries being the arrogant person that he is. So it is kind of a heel versus heel match. But I do have a feeling that Austin is going to win it. Um, and then it will just be another, you know, another tete-a-tete -tete where they're going to have them fight off against each other for the Cruiserweight Championship. But Austin Aries has this. And the last of the pre-matches is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. So the entries so far, so from SmackDown we have Mojo Rawley, Apollo Crews, Kurt Hawkins, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, the whole Nikki Bella thing, ugh, uh, Dolph Ziggler, Rhino, Heath Slater, Jason Jordan, Chad Gable, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Connor, Victor, Kalisto, Aiden English and Simon Gotch. Oh yes, because 205, they are part of the SmackDown. And then for Raw, we have Big Show, Braun Strowman, Goldust, R-Truth, Primo, Epico, Curtis Axel, Bo Dallas, Ginger Mahal, Sami Zayn, Mark Henry, Sin Cara, and Titus O'Neil. Hands down, I know Braun Strowman is going to win this because they've been building up quite a lot. He did have the rivalry with Roman. They've kind of moved it aside for the moment for the rivalry with Undertaker, but Braun Strowman has this. Hands down, I have no doubt about it. Where he'll go after that? I don't know, they might stick him with another feud with Roman again because this is WWE. Right now, after the two hour pre-show, we are now on to the main event. So, the first match is Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. And this is a ladder match. Um, this is interesting because I didn't think they would make this into a ladder match, but I will go on to that later on with a question my friend did ask. But, um, who do I think will win? As much as, you know, we're going to have many Wrestlemania moments in this, but I think it's going to go to Enzo and Cass. Purely because I know Gallows and Anderson are great as the tag champions, but, you know, switch it up a little. Next we have Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Again, this has been a good rivalry, it's been building up. Um, the segment on SmackDown was a bit strange. I kind of, I think it broke the fourth wall, so to speak. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing, but um, yeah, this has got a bit 
pretty brutal at some points. Um, the last one I remember was Baron putting the forklift fork on top of Dean. Um, for some reason, Botchamania just came into my head because he made a JoJo Bizarre Adventure reference to it. If you need to watch it, it's actually very funny. Um, but I don't know about this one. I think I have a funny feeling that Baron is going to win it because he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale last year, but he hasn't really done much since. So I think give him the Intercontinental Champion and just see what happens. Next, we have Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the US Championship. Um, again, this was pretty sad when this friendship ended. We knew it was coming, it was just a case of when. Um, so Kevin Owens has claimed he was never Jericho's friend, and then Chris Jericho later brought up, well, you've always idolised me, and then showed a photo of him wearing a Y2J shirt doing the pose. Um, I'm looking forward to this match, because this is one has been building up for quite some time. It's definitely one I'm looking forward to. Um, in regards to who I think will win, Jericho is due to go on a break soon. So I don't know whether or not he'll have the championship or something will happen where he'll lose the next night. But I have a feeling that Chris Jericho is going to retain the championship and maybe lose it on Raw the next night to someone other than Kevin Owens. Next is AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. So this is part one of the match of Wrestlemania we didn't ask for, but we got. But it's going to look interesting. There's no stipulation to it though. So this will be interesting because Shane Omak, as you know, is very much a high flyer. He, he's very much an extreme wrestler. If you've seen his classic matches, even last year Wrestlemania when he died from the top of the cell. Um, King of the Ring when he was thrown through the perplex, perplex glass, I can't say it, um, and also, you know, diving off stages of various pay-per-views. So for him to have a normal-ish match, it's going to be interesting, because AJ Styles did bring up the point where we're going to show your weaknesses, because AJ Styles is a very good wrestler, you know, he's been in quite a few contenders of Match of the Year last year, and he's only debuted last year as well. I mean, they brewed it by giving him the championship on SmackDown. But I think AJ is going to win. I think it'll be a clean win as well. Um, I don't know if there'll be any in interference or not. I don't know if Daniel Bryan will get involved at some point, because he is the general manager. But I, I can't say for sure, but I think AJ Styles is going to win clean. Okay, next we have Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks and Nia Jax and it is a fatal four-way elimination match for the Raw Women's Championship. So this speculation has only been added on Monday and Nia Jax was the last participant to be added on before it was going to be a triple threat. But now it's going to be a, a fatal four-way. So what that means, if I remember, what that means is that whoever is eliminated out and it's I think it's the last two standing, whoever's left Whoever wins that, then they win. It's such a shame though that Bailey, you know, this isn't going to be her WrestleMania moment because it's somewhat been spoilt that she won the championship before WrestleMania. And also Charlotte Flair's pay-per-view records is literally just gone like that, you know, pretty much to nothing. It kind of makes it, makes it look like it didn't really matter, which is terrible, you know, awful shame. But... I do have a feeling that Bailey is going to retain. She will have a WrestleMania moment, but sadly, it just won't be as big a build as when she first won the Women's Championship. Kind of on to another boss versus employee fight, but student versus teacher, and it's Triple H versus Seth Rollins in a non-sanctioned match. So basically, it's uh, what Triple H said was, when you sign this document, it means that you give up all your rights. So he's got a pretty bad knee, Nothing can be done. He's pretty much going to go straight into the match. He knows that, you know, if he mucks up his knee anymore, there's pretty much nothing he can do about it. But, again, this is one that's been building up for a while, especially since he turned his back on the shield. I will know. <laughs> you know I'm a shield fan girl. But, um, I... Let me think. Who do I think is going to win this? I think it will be Seth. Stephanie will get involved, of course, because, you know, Steph and Triple H do pretty much run Raw and they pretty much cover most of the promos in it now. It's pretty much a joke now. And, but I, I think it's going to somewhat end. So I think Steph is going to win. You know, Steph's going to try and help, but nothing's going to happen of it. Now this one, 
I will admit I was not looking forward to it at the beginning, but since the promos on Smackdown, oh my god, jeez Louise, they need plenty of fire ointment for the burns that they gave to each other. It is The Miz and Marilise versus John Cena and Nikki Bella. Oh my god, like I said, you need to watch the promos. So they did a thing on Smackdown, Miz and Marilise, uh, called uh, Total Ball... Mm, because I don't swear on this channel. Um, and it's basically the, uh, the Miz and Marilise taking the mick out of John Cena and Nikki Bella's roles on Total Bellas, Total Divas, whichever one you watch. And... It was pretty brutal, but you know, John Cena and Nikki Bella gave as much back as The Miz gave to them. So by the end of the promo on Thursday, I just thought, yes, bring it. This is, I want to see this match now. And maybe there might be a surprise at the end. I don't know. There's rumors that John Cena might propose to Nikki, but don't know if that'll happen. I have to wait and see. If it is, I'll be just be jumping up and down like, oh my God, oh God, oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Oh boy, I've seen what the next match is. Uh, so it is The Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. Um, where do I begin with this? Because you guys know how much I love Roman. But they are now slowly, and I mean slowly, turning him into a heel. Whether this carries on, I don't know. Again, that's going to be and part of my questions later on. But the promo Romo gave on Monday was very heelish and pretty much sets you up for a, possibly a good match at WrestleMania because Undertaker can't wrestle. Uh, you know, his hips are still at him. I don't know how good he's going to wrestle at WrestleMania, but. I am intrigued as to how this match is going to anticipate the crowd because you know how much the fans love Roman at this point. To be a Roman fan is <laughs> it's pretty much a hit and miss thing at the moment in the WWE uh, community. I could probably make a separate video on that alone but um, uh, I, head says Undertaker but my heart says Roman and I'm going to go with my heart because you know, Roman is always going to be there in my heart. But no, I, I seriously think Roman is going to win this and he will be putting the two into 23 and two. Last two matches now. So the first of the WWE Championship matches it is Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. So this is pretty much not the joke battle, but everyone's taken the mick of how long is this going to last? Because... Goldberg's matches alone, the last two matches he's faced, I think it's just been under two minutes in total. Uh, with Kevin Owens, it was 22 seconds, I think that. Yeah, just literally under two minutes because with Brock's um, defeat before, that was a minute 30, something like that. But this is kind of how long is this match going to last? And it is for the championship. But if Brock wins, then he'll kind of be a part-timer again and then disappear. There won't be as many matches. If Goldberg wins, it'll be pretty much the same thing. I do think, though, Goldberg is going to win this, purely because I don't think they want Brock as a champion again. Not if he's part-time, because not fair to the championship. Whoever faces him, you know, it's just going to be a build-up of Paul Heyman just... Pick, picking up promos of like up with this down with that and you know suplex city and blah 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 because people have been getting boring of paul Heyman's promos as well which is somewhat of a shame but uh yes i think goldberg is going to win this as to how long the match is going to last i'm going to say between three and five minutes that's probably what you're thinking and last but by no means least it is the wwe championship and it is bray wyatt versus randy orton uh randy won royal rumble that was still a bit of a surprise to everyone, but it kind of all went to pot at Elimination Chamber where, or afterwards, he kind of refused to fight Bray Wyatt because he was still under his his power. Um, but then things really turned nasty when he burnt Sister Abigail and the house and literally went Pfft. So Bray now came and he's got the power of Sister Abigail within him and, you know, I think he's converted Luke Gallows back to being how he is and like under his command again. Um, who 
do I think is going to win this? I think it will be Randy. Um, I, I do like Bray as a champion, but, you know, they've been building this up for a while, so I think Randy is going to have his WrestleMania moment. As to which of the matches is going to be the main event, I think the SmackDown Championship is going to be the main event for WrestleMania. Okay, so the predictions are now done, so we're on now to the questions from my Facebook. And the first question is from Ben. Thoughts on the recent broken post by WWE that Matt Hardy responded to, and what do you think will happen uh, in brackets, including did Jeff get past what Vince did after he was arrested post-released in brackets? Um, so this is what I didn't put in my predictions, what I think will happen, you know, surprises at WrestleMania. But I think, because I have read a few of the tweets, that they will turn up the night after Wrestlemania mainly because there's a big surprise the Raw after Wrestlemania I also have another thing I think that Kurt Angle is definitely going to be the new general manager of Raw it's been leading up to it ever since Mick Foley got the sack last week next question is from Ellie uh, how do you think Finn Balor will be used at the event I think he will be a surprise entry in the Andre the Giant Battle Royale um, because it's a good way for him to make a comeback and my gosh his intro for Wrestlemania will be amazing have you seen that long wrong way between the entrance to the ring they have got to make something out of that for Finn Balor come on it has to be done Ty has two questions uh, the first one uh, you can change one match on the Wrestlemania card not the wrestlers involved but the type of match or stipulation what would it be and why I would have moved the Madalatch from the tag championships and given it to Jericho and Kevin Owens because they've both had brilliant ladder matches in the past. Nothing, you know, nothing bad is going to be of this match, but I think it would have been a little more spacey if they put in the ladders in that match. Second question, whose yard is it? Oh, I don't know. We'll wait and see after the Taker versus Reigns match. We'll take it from there. Next is from my friend Andrew, he's also got two questions. Will Roman finally become the bad guy or will we stop with him as he is? Now, this is why I said I would leave this to this point because I am glad they're giving him the heel turn but it's not permanent. We don't know if this is purely because he's, you know, fa facing Undertaker or if he's gonna be the in-between guy. He's not the good guy, he's not the bad guy. He is literally the in-between guy at this point. Uh, and I hate that line so, so much. Um, I want to see him fully turn heel. Whether it will happen or not, I don't know because you know how much Vince loves to mess with the crowd. Look at Raw and Rumble when he was number 30. Oh dear God, I can still hear the booze still. Um, but I, I don't know. I want him to turn heel. I'm hoping he turns heel. As to where they'll go with that afterwards, I don't know. Um, but I would like to see him turn heel. Whether or not he does, that's down to Vince, unfortunately, because, you know, logic. So yeah, we're pretty much going to be stuck with him the way he is for now. And next question from Andrew, who are going to be the call-ups on the night after WrestleMania? I think for the women's it's going to be Oscar, and I think for the men's it's going to be Shinsuke Nakamura. That's what I think personally, but we'll have to wait and see. Because NXT have got a new roundup. Amber Moon has been brilliant as a, a, a you know, competitor for the NXT Women's Championship. And last question by my friend Craig. Do you expect Kurt Angle or Broken Matt Hardy to appear WrestleMania right after? So as I said before, Kurt Angle will become the new general manager for Raw, so he'll turn up on Raw. And I think Matt, uh, the Broken uh, Matt Hardy will turn up on Raw the next night. With Jeff, I don't know. I never really answered that with them. Um, I think Jeff will turn up at some point but I think Matt will be the first to turn up and it will be delightful. So that's it for my prediction video for Wrestlemania and for my q and I really enjoyed doing the questions actually. Um, I might do another q and in future, maybe general Q&A, maybe another wrestling q and I don't know, we'll wait and see. Also on Saturday, if I have this up on time, I will be at EGX Res. I will be there all day if I can somehow get my way to New Cross because damn it, the trains aren't running that, that day and I have to find a way to get there at some point. But I will definitely be there probably all day. So from nine o'clock until half five, I'm not going to go to the after party, but I will be loitering around all day at EGX. So if you come see me, say hello, high five, hug. I honestly don't mind. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe and all that jazz and I shall chat to you all soon. Bye!